Another difference here is that the form for adding a new field or for adding an existing field is separate from the Manage Fields listing page. We need to click the Add Field button in order to get to that form. The workflow has been made simpler and more intuitive. You have to select a field first, and if we do select a field, I'm going to select Text Plane. Then we get the option of adding a label. The lists of fields that we have to choose from have changed quite a bit in Drupal 8. And in order to see these side by side, I've taken a screenshot of each one so that we can compare them. Over here, we have Drupal 7, and over here we have Drupal 8. So the first thing you might notice is that Drupal 8 groups the field types. So instead of it being alphabetical all the way down the line, it groups them by the kind of information that we're trying to capture. Number, reference, and text are all straightforward, and then general is sort of a catch-all for other fields that we would want. Drupal 8 also includes a number of fields that aren't available in Drupal 7, including date, email, and link. Each of these three were individual contributed modules that you'd have to install separately. In Drupal 8, they're available right out of the box, which is nice. There's also a comments field, and we'll talk more about comments in a little bit. But the idea with comments now is that the input form and the display of comments are controlled by a field. So you can have multiple streams of comments on a single piece of content. You can add comments to other types of entities, like blocks and taxonomy. And you can also create different comment types. This is really cool, and like I said, we'll come back to it. The types of number fields that we have are pretty similar, except that the labeling for decimal, float, and integer are a little bit clearer here. Instead of them just being decimal, float, and integer, they have number prefixed to them, so it's clear what they are. Reference includes references to various entities in Drupal. Drupal 7 included image and file, as well as term reference. In Drupal 8, term reference becomes taxonomy term, and content and user references are added. In Drupal 7, you could do this, but you needed a contributed module called References. In Drupal 8, plain text is its own field. In Drupal 7, you would select a text field, and then you would set whether it was going to be filtered text or plain text. But this presents a choice a little bit sooner. We also have the option of having formatted text that's short, so a regular text input, but that gets run through filters. 